minor truths for each and every little group. See, isn't this sick society, doesn't it feel that it's creating more and more little prisons? And the more prisons it's creating, it's classifying them even more. They're changing their narratives, they're changing the titles, they're changing everything in such a way to please as many minds. But when a sick society wants to please your mind, well, isn't an individual truth nothing else than a prison? Aren't these societal groups supporting all sorts of these new woke movements? Aren't they just building and uh, arranging a prison for all of these so-called minorities of people? Because they never say, they never seem to define anything. They're just saying certain things and they want everyone else to comply to those. It's exactly like narcissists function in a way because they are one of the epitomes of superficiality. They'll never explain you things. They're just like broken children, abandoned rag dolls that, you know, they want things and they simply can't stand it when someone else doesn't give them what they want. When someone else doesn't give them what they want, they victimize and they wish that the crowd will simply be, you know, uh, endeared about them and will... Uh, specifically what they wish is that the crowd will um, fight for uh, those who are victimizing, right? That the crowd will preferably kill those who dared uh, pick on the one who, you know, is now victimizing. Because that's how a narcissist functions. If they don't like something, they must cancel it. They must destroy it. Why is this? Well, because this is the very first impulse of the mind. As I said, narcissism is the very epitome of madness. So it means all the possible um, unconscious reactions that the mind has, that's basically the narcissist, right? If you know at least this bit, you know how this sick society functions. You can see it everywhere around. Nowadays, you're not allowed to say words because it hurts the ego of some people. But the ego is nothing else but a prison that is being built. And, you know, you can't have a prison because in a narcissist society, you don't want a prison. You want people to enjoy their prison. That's why the ego is made to look so beautiful, so precious, because this way people will be fighting for their own slavery. Have you forgotten the people throughout the pandemic that were fighting for the right to wear a face mask, right? That's what narcissists were, uh, you know, wetting themselves about. So, a lot of these little truths, they're nothing else but, you know, personal truths to suit your mind. And when they do, you just become a soldier for a certain agenda which is not even yours. So that when you embrace their madness as your own, the point is everyone else is problematic, but you're not. This is how Sikh society has existed and, well, that's how a lot of the Western societies also existed. Everyone else was a problem. And, well, we need to solve it. So that's how the big empires actually went around and conquered and killed in the name of whatever they saw fit. So, ultimately, this uh, separation does nothing else than more hurt. When narcissists want you to support them, they only do it for one simple reason. They're just abandoned children deep down. And when they don't get what they want, they simply break down inside because they know how much of a failure they are. They're teaching you to support them, to be their soldiers, because they simply can't dare to do their own work, right? They don't want to do their own work because they don't have much of a patience in most situations. And it's always much better when you turn people, you know, against one another and you simply grab your popcorn and you see uh, the results of your work. Because some narcissists have patience, some narcissists don't. But highly proficient ones, they usually have patience because they know it is always worth seeing how much, uh, you know, dissension hurts others. And then they come back, after they kill one another, they come back to ask for more. They only do this to teach people how to be pets. Because when someone dares to deny them the wish that they want... Right, They will start pissing their eyes and victimizing. And they so wish that their followers will simply do the work. Right, 
they don't want themselves to necessarily do something because they're way too lazy and at the same time they're always busy doing other things right they're always busy furthering their agenda so well that's kind of a point this is why all these little truths are suiting people's minds nowadays. They know that they've been studying humanity for hundreds of years, especially the Western society. And, well, this Sikh society has done only uh, depravity, right? They have not given humanity anything that they needed. Constant poverty. And then religion comes in and says, well, if you live like this in poverty and misery, you live eternally in heaven where everything will be given to you. But no one seems to have thought back in those times, because people were illiterate, that once you die, you leave the physical body. And well, all those physical riches that you are promised in heaven will basically be of little to no use. All that it was, it was, well, you just live in misery, embrace it, and waste your life with misery, so that you die miserably and you get back into this world because you have enough karma that you, you can't live this cycle of life and death. And well, when you come back with even more karma back into this world, well, we will simply control your mind again and well, we will do it again and we will kill you again and we will torture you again and again until, well, you wake up or you simply no longer are capable of thinking even about revolt and the such until you basically become the perfect machine. So, it is nothing else but a narcissist's own survival. That's why they need to create so many of these tools. They have created only depravity. They have uh, negated the feminine energy. That's why all the Western powers became conquerors. When you negate femininity and creativity, you only become conquerors. And, well, look at how history happened. Now they're denying that history, right? They're saying that society has been way too paternal and they want women to act like men because they know that a lot of the women will simply fail at that because biologically they haven't been built for that, right? So what happens is they will become even more frustrated and we know women already have a lot of societal frustrations thanks to the sickness of this world. So they're only playing on the pains that they have been inflicting karmically upon our generations. Now they're also making men, hey, you know, women think they have too many rights. They want to be exactly like you. So why not pretend that you can be a woman and then, you know, fight them equally? So, you know, they constantly pick on the karmic structure that they have specifically built for you. So, this being said, hopefully this video raised a bit of awareness. You are appreciated. Take care. Ferenjian Board signing out.